guys, I'm gonna show you how I use the Walmart grocery app. So first off, you open the app, and on the front page there is a reserve. You hit the reserve, and this is where you get to pick what day and then what time frame that you want to do it. So I like to do the eight and nine time frame usually, and then um, you can start adding stuff to your list. Now there is a favorite section down here. Anything I buy on a regular basis, I add it to this favorite tab because then all you have to do is just scroll through here and just start adding all the stuff that you buy all the time, like eggs and milk and cheese and anything for the kids, uh, meats that you buy, stuff that I buy on a regular basis, I literally add it to my favorites. And so it's so easy just to scroll through here, add stuff to the cart, it's, it's life changing. Then at the top here is where you um, can go see everything that's in your basket. You can edit it from here as well. Um, there is a $30 minimum. On here, it's so easy just to add, you know, multiple uh, quantities of that item. Now I've met the $30 mark, and then you can go down here at the bottom and just hit checkout. Then it'll take you to the next screen where you would put in your card information or it has your saved card, card information, and then you check out from there. Good morning, guys. So this is the morning I am headed out to go get my groceries from the grocery Walmart grocery pickup. 99% of the time, the kids are with me, but today, Andrew is home. So I get to do this peacefully and quietly. I like to go, if I'm going any time during the week, between the 8 and 9 a.m. time frame. Um, if I go on the weekend, sometimes it'll be Sunday right after church, and I'll pick the 12 to 1, and so I can go right after church, get what I need, and come home. Um, so today, I'm by myself. So I'm gonna take you along on the process of getting the groceries the first thing we need to do is check in on our app and that lets them know that we are on our way because they do store the groceries um, in like their little cooler area so um, they need to pull that out check it all in and make sure everything is there and then it's ready for us when we pull up so let's check in now okay so all we're gonna do is pull up our app and then There is a check-in button right here. So you just hit check-in. So once you hit that check-in button, it pulls up and says you're only four, I'm only 14 minutes away. They want you to check in when you're around 10 minutes away, so I just check in right before I leave. I have forgot before and I pull up and I say, sorry, I forgot to check in. Just takes a little bit longer for them to bring your groceries out. There's times that I've checked in, I pulled up, and they're already pulling it out for me because they saw that I pulled up. So um, make sure you check in is key to make sure it's there and ready for you. So um, now let's go get our groceries. So at my Walmart, they actually have signs and it written on the ground, making sure you're going the right direction so you know exactly where to go, exactly where to park to pick up your groceries. Um, here in California, we do have a bag fee, so when you go to check out, you have the option of clicking uh, bag fee and they'll bag your groceries before it comes to you. Or once they get to your car, they'll bag your groceries at your car like I did with your bags that you have. Um, also, they had three substitutions for me, so they'll say, hey, we have substitutions, and then they'll go over the substitutions with you and you can decide to accept it or deny it, then they won't charge you. Um, and if you do take the substitution, you get the cheaper of whatever the substitution was or what you originally ordered. So example, I had, I wanted a big bag of the Dunkin' Donuts coffee and they didn't have the big bag so they substituted two smaller bags to make up the big bag. So I just took that. Thank you so And 
And it's that easy. And it's that easy, guys, picking up your groceries at the Walmart grocery pickup. An extra tip for you guys, if there's two different apps. You have the Walmart grocery app where you reserve your time, add everything, check out, and whatnot. But if you also have the Walmart, uh, just the regular app, it's called the Savings Catcher. And on here, if you shop at the store or even shop online, any receipt that you have, whether it's emailed to you or um, given to you at the store, you can go to add a Walmart receipt type receipt info and then when the, the receipt that's emailed to you there's a TC number and then your date so you type in the TC number type in the date of your receipt and you hit submit and what it does it will check um, you have to do it within seven days of the date on your receipt it'll check if anything that you bought was cheaper at any stores around you and then Walmart will give you the difference of what you bought versus it being cheaper and then later on you can cash it out um, on a gift card so they're still trying to make sure you get the lower deal I think on one receipt alone I saved a dollar seventy so make sure you do that if you are also using the grocery app and shout out to Katie Satilli because I learned that tip from one of her videos and it's awesome so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it I hope it helped you out if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe um, button down below also if you have any video requests leave them in the comments below and I will do those for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye